Hi there folks, it's uh, part two of the making of the uh, replica crittle windows for the museum. Uh, I was waiting on some steel, just some 20mm box section steel, it's arrived. So I can make another step forwards. Go take a look. You have to excuse the mess folks. So last time, um, if you haven't seen part one, there'll be a link in the description, it'll be down there. Um, yeah, finding original windows in good condition of this size, I've not seen many on my travels. But we do have an original that uh, I've kind of loosely based this one on. So last time I got the... Uh, I've got the flat bar welded in, but I was just waiting on this box section here. Which needs to go across there and down there. It'll give it some, uh, some strength to it. And it'll kind of replicate the originals. The originals did open, they had an opening top section and side section. We're not going to bother uh, on a lot of the windows because it's not needed. So next job is to drill some holes on the flat bar and then I can weld those in from behind yay well that's the holes drilled down the centres of the flat bar I, uh, I didn't film it, two reasons, one the GoPro was flat and B you don't need to see me with my ass stuck up in the air drilling holes so next thing, measure the steel box section lengths and then we can get those welded in Well, that's the first one dropped in place. Quite a snug fit. I can now uh, measure up the second one. And then we'll brace this thing up and get it welded. So, as you can see, everything's laid in place. And now, I can clamp these down and weld through to the box section below. Then we have the main frame of the window, folks.
Well, I'll just let that cool down first before I uh, unclamp it. And then I'll do don't it. So I quickly just welded in the top T section. Yeah, I suppose now I'll uh, unclamp it and we'll take a look. So there we have it. I'll be honest, folks, I'm a little bit disappointed because that piece of steel is just not quite central. Well, something isn't. However, this is just the prototype, so we expect fuck ups. So, what we need to do now is have another piece of T section across here. And then these lower sections will have two on each one, if that makes sense. Right, moving on. As you can see, I, uh, I've got some uh, red oxide paint on the window now. Most of it went on the floor, but I did get some on the window. But before we uh, take a look at the painted window, let's just have a little reminder why we're doing this. Let's take a little look at the progress as we uh, show you why we need windows, folks. So, there's one. There should be one there, and at some point there probably will be. We'll go a bit further. Another big one. Let's go a bit further. Another big one. Ah, folks, we've been taking the farmer's floors up and revealing what's underneath. Another uh, big window, and as a bonus, this one has two. As you can see, the floors are coming up. Not exactly found in any treasure underneath. A bit of farmer's rubbish. So, we continue. Now, this is one window I actually restored. Um, which gives a view on to all those windows that need replacing. And just like the other side of the building, the end room has two windows. We have two windows in the corridor, and obviously one in each of the bedrooms. And this part of the building has two end bedrooms, both having two windows. So as you can see, we need a lot of windows, folks. And 
You know, we'll give it a bit of light. That is the only original big window that is remotely worth using. So folks, with that in mind, let's take a look at my simplified, um, in the style of trittle window to replace the many needed at a cost a lot less no doubt than Mr. Crittle who does still make windows. So here we have it. Uh, prototype window number one. A simplified design of the original critical windows. And I'll be honest folks, it's not perfect. However, I can from this, uh, how should I say, tweak the construction, the fabrication make it a lot quicker even though to be fair it hasn't taken long and then we need to uh, raise some funds folks and get enough steel to uh, add some light some real daylight to the museum buildings so folks what do you think let me know in the comments do you think that's good enough so that's the prototype made um, from this I've learned a lot and we can also fine fine tune things for um, speed of fabrication cost wise not excessive um, and on the eye I think they look quite good side by side it's uh, it's a close match it's not identical um, but it is what it is uh, I'd rather see those in the holes where the bricks are now so folks, let me know what you think in the comments, and uh, thanks for watching, liking, subscribing, hope you got something from this, catch you on the next one.